is is that there are a lot of people who are systems theorists, mm-hmm. who are um, cyberneticians, who have been working with systems ideas and right. so on. Um, and one of the things that I have noticed, a couple things. One, people talk about how difficult Gregory's books are to read. <laughs> have you read Steps to an Ecology of Mine? Not yet. You can tell the truth. I have not yet. yet. Okay, well, it'll be easier after having seen the film because you're you're through the the threshold. <laughs> um, but what one of the, yeah one of the things you'll notice is how careful he is with language. Mm-hmm. And yes. for people coming in for the first time, they they want him to just get to the point. Um, and yeah. there's a very careful thing going on with the way that he's he's articulating mm-hmm. um, so that he doesn't cross. And and um, and rigidify if that's I think that's a word. Yeah, um, the the concepts and and mm-hmm. to re well to reify but to make it rigid. Right. You know, there's a real need to be very careful not to make the wrong things rigid. At what mm-hmm. level are things? Is the order, yeah. and at what level are yeah. things changing? And so that that's that's something, um, and that's very different in the way that he writes. And his explanations leave this different this different kind of space. The reason that it does is because, and I think when you see the film, you can see this, and if you, later you're reading the books, you can read it in there also. Is because of a a, a kind of caring. Mm-hmm. That he had. Yeah. Um, you can divide the world up a lot of different ways and explain it in an in infinite vocabulary. Mm-hmm. And the question at the end of it all is: what do you see and do you love it? <laughs> and is there beauty in and it? Too? That, is, it beautiful? is there beauty in it? Yeah, that, that's right. Is it beautiful? Mm-hmm. And that that notion of that sort of aesthetic response is a kind of uh, is a kind of integrated empathy. Mm-hmm. Absolutely, and it integrates all different parts of the mind uh, and the emotions and the the physical relationship and the all these things are integrated in that aesthetic response yeah. that is, is, is this empathetic, relational um, uh, beginning. And from that, an entirely different body of ethics comes to be. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Entirely different, yeah. which, is, which is about... The, those delicate interdependencies, whether they're at the level of protozoa or orcas or you and yeah. me or the relationship between Iran and China, yeah. um, those delicate interdependencies take on another whole meaning. Mm-hmm. Well, it, one of the things you can feel, because to me, you know, just from, from my particular perspective, I'm very aware of the consciousness and the, like, to me, your your father, like, was exuding. You know, there there was curiosity. There was an open endedness. I and I don't know how he did it. You know, I mean, I, I definitely am enjoy. I will definitely get the book. Cause that's the next step. <laughs> Is that like you're saying his caring and his way of doing this? He did manage to keep like that flow. You know, there was an openness and flow. That, that's endless that that you can feel around him and mm-hmm. most most brilliant genius type people you know try to make you know put a stake in the in the ground and say okay and this is my theory and and, 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 and. and he was even though he has you know it's clear what his the message and the music that was coming from him but somehow it was op- it kept going and kept going and kept going and I don't know how he did that. I mean, that's just amazing. Because he wouldn't he make it wouldn't, rigid. He, he just, he wouldn't do it. It yeah. was, there's, um, that exquisite. was what was 